It's like a bad dream. I, I don't know, it's just too much. 73-year-old Ray yeah, Mills lies in bed, yeah. bruised, yeah. battered yeah. and in shock after a harrowing, unprovoked attack on him by a gang of teenagers. Three days after he was smashed in the face with a brick outside his home in Stetchford Road in Hodge Hill, he is still unable to see out of his left eye. He has banging headaches and his cheeks are purple and swollen. He spent two days in hospital and is continuing to have brain scans and checkups on his eye. His worst fear is that he will be unable to drive again. The attack happened just after 3pm on Friday when a gang of around 10 teenagers were gathered in the park behind Ray's house. The group of teenagers made their way down from the park and as they reached the houses they began throwing stones at the back windows. When they arrived at number 21, Ray Mill spotted them from his bedroom window and came down to confront them. I hobbled downstairs, clutched onto my car and went to the wall and they were all standing there laughing and joking and I said why? And they all came up to me and the next thing I know, that was it. I was just like unconscious, amnesia straight away. I didn't know somebody would take me back in my house and my face was full of blood. I can't believe that uh, children like that would set about people, you know. It's it's not on today, it's, there's something wrong. You know, it's, you know, what can you say? You know, just say nothing to let people do what they want in life. Smash all the windows and just stand and look at them. Well, that's, that's not right, in my opinion. Fortunately, neighbours were on hand to help Ray out, but the attack has given the tough retired welder a different view on things, and he says he would definitely think twice about taking the same action again. Well, I don't have a big ton again. I'm already, you know, disabled as it is. I don't want no more uh, to, come, to come with me or at me. I mean, at one time, you, even your neighbours said, I'll tell your mum you've been smoking or something like that, you know. Or if you swore, I mean, today, <laughs> you can't believe what happens today. Ray's daughter, Julie, says she finds it incomprehensible as to why anyone should pick on her dad. My dad, he's a very kind, caring, compassionate person. Uh, he doesn't challenge people. He's very, very patient. And just to think that, that this could happen, I just, I just, it's beyond me, really. Ray is keeping his fingers crossed that his eyesight returns, but the original question he went out to ask the thugs is still to be answered. I'd like to know why they took out the, what they did, why they come and challenge me. I asked them why, and what I got is where I am now, the state, I mean, just for asking the question. The thug who attacked the pensioner is described as being Asian and between the ages of 14 and 16. He was wearing a black baseball cap and a black jacket with white piping on the chest. Anyone with information about this horrific attack is asked to contact the police on 0845 113 5000. That's 0845 113 5000.